Tyler Lymacito, it's me and you from Lymacito.com, who's Lymacito and Think Personal Branding. Uh, today the date is uh, 15th October 2017, time right now is 7.31. Okay, uh, I, I just received this email asking me like, how am I so mentally tough? Uh, you know, people abuse me, call me names on YouTube and send me bad words and, you know, ask me weird stuff like, how much would you sell your wife for? Or what is that shit on your face? Or why do you look like a dog? And, yeah. uh, lots of stuff. Uh, some people even try to abuse my mother, father, brother, sister, whatever. So the question that they ask me is like, why is it that I don't get affected by, you know, all these abuse? Uh, how is it that I'm so mentally strong? So let me just tell you why is it that I don't care. Uh, I'll just tell you the five points. Pretty simple. Number one is I just believe everyone has a right to their opinion. Um, you know, it's a perspective. Some people may say your face looks bloody ugly. Some people say, uh, you know, what shit is there on the face? Some people say, oh, you look like a criminal, a wanted man. Some people say I'm satanic. Some people consider it art. Some people say, wow, I admire you for taking all this pain. And some people say, wow, you're so fascinating. Some people say, you look like Darth Maul. Uh, some say you look weird. So whatever it is, everyone has a right to their opinion and it's okay to have an opinion. So I don't mind people having their opinion. So their opinion is theirs. It's a perspective. It's like they say, opinions are like assholes. Everyone has one. So, you know, it's, it's cool. Live and let live. You have your right. I have my right. So that's the first thing that I keep in mind. The second thing is, uh, opinions mean nothing okay if someone says law you are the most handsome guy I've ever seen there are some two or three ladies from New Zealand uh, one from Germany uh, they, they are beautiful looking girls really beautiful looking girls and I don't know they consider me absolutely handsome in fact I met uh, ladies from India uh, who initially when they look at me like oh my goodness you look so horrifying but later on they tell me you know law you look cute your eyes are nice your smile is cute whatever so by someone calling me ugly or someone calling me beautiful or attractive or handsome, I don't become ugly one time, handsome one time, cute one time, whatever. And if someone says, Law, you are this evil, satanic, uh, bad guy, I don't become a bad guy. You know, it, it's not like I'm, I'm, I'm getting affected by everyone's opinion. I know who I am. I'm very clear about it. You can call me handsome. You can call me ugly. I know who I am. You can call me Jesus Christ. You can call me Satan. I know who I am. I don't care. I seriously don't care. Compliments mean nothing to me. Insults mean nothing. It's it's simple. I give this analogy to people. Let's say uh, your name is Mark. I actually did this. There was this guy. His name was uh, Mark in my class. When he gave his full name. His name was Mark. So I said, Mark, pass me that pen. So Mark passed me that pen, which was next to him. Then there was uh, there was a book, like, you know, I used to train people in my class, uh, in my house. So books are, so I, instead of Mark, I said, Sheila, I said, uh, Sheila, can you pass me that book? So everyone's looking at everyone else and who's Sheila? Then I said, uh, Jesse, pass me that. I said, Richard, pass me that. Nobody understood. They're like, why is he giving these names? Finally, I said, you fucking dog, bastard, just give me that. Then they're like, whoa, why are you calling us bad words? So then I told him, when I said, Mark, you responded. When I said, Sheila, you didn't respond. Why didn't you respond for Sheila? He said, because Sheila is not my name. So I said, what about Jesse? He said, Jesse is not my name. I said, Richard. He said, Richard's not my name. But then I, when I said, bastard, why did you respond? He said, yeah, but he called me bastard. But bastard's not your name. Then why are you responding? So here's the thing. If you're not what they say you, they call you to be, why are you responding? It's like people say, you asshole, you dog, you motherfucker, you this, you that. Don't respond. Just don't respond. Finish. End of story. Why are you responding? Oh, you called my mother this. You called my father this. Yeah, stop acting like children. People call me so many names. I don't give a damn. You can call me all that you like. So the And why is this uh, this way? Is because of point number three. For me, money talks. If, if anyone calls me good, bad, ugly or bad words or whatever, I don't give them any importance unless and until... I know that they are my customer and paying me shitloads of money. If they are giving me money, then their opinion is important. If you're not paying me money, your opinion is not at all important. I don't care what you have to say. So for me, my priority is very clear. I want to make money. I need money. So if you can give me money, fine, I'm ready to listen to you. Not giving money, I don't care what you have to say. Good, bad, ugly. Uh, point number four, like I said before, I'm very clear who I am. I have spent um, years of my life trying to understand who I am, trying to research, going to psychologists, psychiatrists, studying myself. In fact, I, I reached the point to the brink of death and I came back. 
okay and that was a clear indication that was a turning point in my life and from that day i'm, I'm very clear why I'm, i uh, if people say you're an atheist i thought your faith was very strong why is your faith so weak oh why are you uh, you know two timing guy why have you cheated people i i don't care you're not in my shoes you're not there when i needed you the most so you don't give me any money so why should i i'm very clear about why and last but not the least i am really very busy with work you know right now it's 7:37 i got up at 9 o'clock to start these videos this is i think maybe the 17th video that i'm recording today i'm really busy i don't have time i don't have time to think uh, you know be bothered about what you think and i'm always doing something productive so i don't have time for people who are jobless who really are jobless give importance to others so that is why i don't give a damn to what people think i don't get affected by criticism and that is why i'm so mentally and emotionally strong so i hope you learned something from this video i hope something worth you got something worthwhile so i hope this helps you if you do feel it helps you and it, it helps someone that you know who's affected by bullying or by you know name calling whatever please share uh, this video with them and let me know your comments down below good bad ugly love to hear from you you want to abuse me go ahead i don't give a damn anyway so this is live from lionmesido.com who's live missing and think bustle branding telling you he doesn't give a damn because he's very clear about who he is take care see you bye